Greetings and welcome to an exciting new lesson. I'm Steve and I'll be guiding you through this presentation. In lesson four, we're going to learn about how to stay on topic when speaking. It is important to stay on topic in the IELTS speaking test. We sometimes go off topic when we try to give more details that are not very important and lose coherence along the way. However, in the IELTS speaking test, you will not be assessed based on how good your ideas are. The assessment is based on how well you communicate or express your ideas. Generally, staying on topic is important in the speaking test, but it doesn't guarantee you a high score. Though you will not be judged based on your ideas, Going off topic in IELTS speaking means you are not directly answering the question. Here is an example of a cue card question along with a sample answer. Listen carefully to the sample answer and determine whether the speaker stayed on topic or not. Summer vacation started last week so I got a chance to visit some interesting places. My friends and I went to a museum in Miri, Sarawak, Malaysia. Miri is the second largest city in Sarawak. It covers an area of 997 square kilometers. There are so many great places to see there. The cue card question asked about a museum, but the examinee talked about a city in Malaysia which means the question was not answered. This is not simply going off topic. It is completely saying the wrong thing. This will affect the band score because it may mean that the examinee did not understand the question or he or she had limited knowledge or vocabulary regarding the topic. Giving a reply that does not exactly answer the question is acceptable, only if you talk about something related to the overall topic, especially when you're asked about a topic you are not interested in or not knowledgeable about. Recall the sample cue card question and listen to another answer. Museums are places of interest to other people, but to be honest, I haven't been to one. In fact, I have only seen museums from the outside. However, I will talk about the Indonesian traditional houses called Tongkonan, which have become a tourist attraction in my city. These traditional houses can be seen in Torajan village. This way of answering isn't necessarily off topic because the examinee stated beforehand that he couldn't answer the question since he's never been to a museum and the topic about Tong Cannon was introduced properly. This is a strategy in answering questions you are not familiar with or you do not know much about. Here are some tips on how to avoid going off topic. First, make a short introduction about the topic in the cue card. This is a way for you to show that you have understood the question, hence lexical resource will not be affected. Second, state the reason why you can't answer the question. Lastly, introduce a topic which is related to the main topic. To wrap up, read or listen carefully and understand the question before answering to avoid going off topic. It is best to stay close to the topic when giving your answers. However, if you do not know what the topic is about, explain why you can't answer the question before introducing another topic. That concludes today's lesson. I hope you found this as enjoyable as I did. Review your notes and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.